possible causes of cardiac arrest, the 4S and 4Ts. A cardiac arrest occurs when the heart stops beating in a coordinated fashion, resulting in the cessation of blood flow around the body. The reversible causes of cardiac arrest can be remembered by using the 4H and 4T. Hypoxia. Hypoxia is a life-threatening condition that occurs when the oxygen level in the body tissues drops suddenly. Since oxygen is imperative for the tissues and organs to perform their specific roles, this builds up lactic acid throughout the muscles in the patient's body. As a result of this, oxygen loss takes place, which can cause tissue death. Prolonged hypoxia can also harm an individual's organs, including their brain and heart. Hypovolemia When a person experiences this condition, they can feel dizzy and sweat excessively. They might also have difficulty breathing, feel their mouth and skin getting dry, and witness their lips and skin turning pale. Rescue breathing and chest compressions can serve as initial responses for a patient dealing with hypovolemia, but the main issue needs to be treated immediately. This includes administering blood, IV fluids, and plasma based on the problems that cause the loss of fluids. Hypokalemia The causes behind hyperkalemia can be endocrine disorders, kidney disease, diabetes, and metabolic acidosis. Hypokalemia can be defined as the opposite of hyperkalemia, wherein the body's potassium levels decrease. The treatment for hyperkalemia and hypokalemia depends on whether the potassium levels have decreased or increased. Hypokalemia is usually treated through an infusion of potassium, whereas dialysis is the preferred treatment for hyperkalemia. Hypokalemia happens when the blood has low levels of calcium. This can be treated through calcium pills and vitamin C and D supplements. Hypothermia When a patient's body temperature drops below 35 degrees Celsius, it's known as hypothermia. This increases the chances of one suffering from cardiac arrest, and defibrillation and CPR don't usually serve as effective treatments for this condition. Rewarming the patient should be the immediate response in this case. If heat sources and blankets can be used to provide external warmth, CPR can be provided while the warmth gets restored. Thrombosis Pulmonary thrombosis refers to a person's arteries getting blocked, mostly due to a blood clot. It's also known as a pulmonary embolism, due to which the heart stops receiving blood. The treatment for coronary thrombosis usually involves stent placement, angioplasty, or coronary bypass surgery in some cases. Pulmonary thrombosis can be treated through surgery or medications that involve blood thinners. Tension pneumothorax. Tension pneumothorax entails tension caused in the thorax due to air. When air builds up within the body's pleural space, the mediastinal structures get displaced, and the system's cardiopulmonary function gets compromised. Such a condition can cause cardiovascular collapse and even death. Symptoms of tension pneumothorax include rapid breathing, shortness of breath, and chest pain. These symptoms are usually followed by shock. This can be treated through a chest tube or needle decompression that helps in removing the air buildup from the pleural space. Tamponade Cardiac tamponade occurs when a patient's pericardial sac gets filled with fluid, compromising the body's cardiac function and leading to cardiac arrest. This condition is caused due to trauma to one's chest, such as through inflammation or gunshot wounds. Cardiac tamponade can either be treated with a thoracotomy, which is a surgical procedure, or through pericardiocentesis, a procedure that helps in removing fluid from the pericardial sac. Toxins Toxins introduced to the body can also cause cardiac arrest. Self-poisoning or drug overdose can involve opioids, benzodiazepines, local anesthetics, tricyclic antidepressants, beta blockers, and calcium channel blockers. Cardiac arrests caused by calcium channel blockers are treated through the administration of calcium chloride. While the first aiders may not be able to correct some of these reversible causes, it is important that they are considered during the resuscitation attempt whilst high-quality CPR is ongoing.